wouldn't you know it, it's September, and the Dallas Cowboy fans are making me sick to my stomach all over again. What's going down, everyone? This is John Amos Archives here on YouTube, and uh, Mayday, Mayday, we got ourselves a situation here. You would think after last year, after these clowns completely had the division in their hands by three games and blew it because they, they lost like five in a row and played like shit, which is going to happen this season again in the middle, you would think that they would have learned their lesson. You would think they would be a little bit quieter, a little bit calmer, a little bit more content than they are. You would think that after not going, winning a playoff game since 1998, that they'd be a little bit more humble. You'd think that after the Eagles won five out of the last six division titles, that they would just shut their fucking mouths. But they don't. It's like they beat a couple shitty teams, and here we go all over again. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is way worse than last year. Last year, there's a couple morons out there saying, the Dallas Cowboys is going to the Super Bowl. But this year, it's ridiculous. Look at my look at my webpage right now. Go ahead, click that ammo that ammo 77 icon up there. Click that ammo 77 icon and go to my homepage. Read the comments. It's this Dallas Cowboy mania right now, and it's just a joke. You guys aren't going. To, well, you might go to the playoffs, but you aren't winning the division. I don't think you're going to go to the playoffs. There will be a midseason collapse, and you're definitely going to get beat by the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't think you guys understand basic mathematics, man. Like, you just don't get it, man. Your offensive line still sucks. You have, you have no you have no furtherance in that department whatsoever, right? Your offensive line sucks. Tony Romo is a joke. He's, a, he's been to the Pro Bowl one time. He's been to the playoffs one game. He's lost on one fumble. He's had eight good games in his whole entire career and six, and, and six bad ones. And that's the bottom line. And now all of a sudden, the 3-0 Dallas Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. What a fucking joke. Do me a favor, you redneck, hick, annoying, fat, skinny, ugly, sleep with your sister, come from Dallas, come from that that infested redneck state, get off my page and beat it. Because I'm going to tell you something, the same thing that happened last year is going to happen this year, and John Ammo is going to win the war all over again, you bunch of redneck sissies. Look at you guys, all bent out of shape about three games. Three games, these guys are... are, are Telling me to eat crow, this guy's coming out with a video because we lost one time to the Washington Redskins in five years? Give me a break, man. Give me a break. Don't you remember Christmas last year? It was only it was it was only eight months ago, man. How many more times do we have to shut this clown Terrell Owens down to the ground like a chemical compound until you understand? I saw a comment on my page. Terrell Owens is better than Reggie Brown and Kevin Curtis combined? What are you kidding me? What the heck? What, what? First of all, Terrell Owens is uh, is retiring because he's going to be too old in one more year. We're going to have Kevin Brown and Kevin Curtis and Reggie Brown for the next five years at least. Alright? Or four years. So let's get one thing straight. By, by the mid-season, your boy's going to have another meltdown, and it might happen after the Philadelphia game, because we all know he can't stand losing to Donovan. Tony Romo, what a joke. This is what you guys are betting your franchise on? The Chicago Bears are a joke this year, man. I said they're only winning 10 games. The NFC is wide open. Anybody, you wait till we play the Bears. You, pl you wait till the real champs play the Bears. All right. Let's set the clock back to 2006, when the Dallas Cowboys were 7-3 and three and the Philadelphia Eagles were 5-4. and four. I'm sorry, were 4-5. and five. Excuse me. And you lost, and you lost, and you lost again. How many more divisions do we have to win? 
How many more times do you people have to sleep with your sister? How many more jars of mayonnaise must you put on your sandwiches until you learn? Until you learn, it's not your division anymore. It's my division, son. Coke and a smile for John Ammo. So let's get one thing straight here. Football fans, Eagle fans, Cowboy fans, Redskins fans, Giant fans. It's Philadelphia Eagles division. When you win it, then you can come on YouTube after three games like me and start talking shit. But if you haven't even sniffed the division in 10 years, haven't even sniffed a playoff win in 10 e over 10 years. No, 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 10 years, 10 years. What's the deal, man? What's the deal? What's, what's your guys' deal? Keep it down, man. Shut your mouth. And I'll tell you something. This goes to every single one of you. I don't care if you think we're cool or we're not. You mentioned my name in your video. It's on. It's on and pop it. Halen. Don't start, don't start calling me. I'm going to be here all season, son. I run this shit. I'm the champ. I won the war, like Mike and Ike said. Remember that. I won the war. You know why I won the war? Because the Eagles won the division last year, and everything I said came to pass, and I looked like a champ, and you look like a chump. Now, you're my boy, but I'm going to tell you something. Don't call John Ammo out about not making videos. Don't start that again. You said you started that last year. I'll let it slide. Don't you start that again. Other guy. 40 ounce. This guy over here. Talking a lot of smack this year, man. And I would have thought your little punk ass, humble ass was beaten down to the ground last year so badly that you couldn't get up. Somehow, you got up, and you're taking some more licks, and I'm going to knock you out again in about the sixth round, or in this case, the sixth week, and shut you up all over again. Because you're running your mouth right now after three games, son, and I would have thought you would have learned if you had to eat your words and erase your videos from last year that you learned your lesson, but you did it. I can't think of anybody else. In Dallas Cowboy Land. None, none, nobody else is that important. Nobody else is that important at all, to be honest with you. You're all a bunch of scrubs. Get off my page and get off Tony Romo's jock because in another six weeks, he'll be on a four game losing skid and Donovan McNabb will once again be on top of the Philadelphia Eagle threshold and NFC East. And once again, ugh. Excuse me. Wasn't that gross? I don't know. <laughs> Woo! Once again, the Philadelphia Eagles will take the division. So I just want to send this message out to the Dallas Cowboy fans. Get your redneck, sister-sleeping, cruddy, obnoxious, mayonnaise-eating asses off my page because I beat you last year. I beat you like I did I beat you like I did last time. I beat you like Apollo Creed beat Rocky in Rocky 3. I beat you like I beat you like like I beat you pretty bad. That's all I got to say about that.